Okay, the code for the color sorter is extremely complicated, to say the least. There are several loops going on here. There's one big giant loop for the entire program. This section right here that I'm about to zoom in on is the very beginning. Um, so when we look over at that very beginning, you can see here, uh, this is where the machine actually sets up. So all this code here at the beginning, this is your A motor uh, presetting um, and getting set to the spot where it needs to be. This is D motor presetting. Um, and this is the touch sensor being pushed in. Then D motor stops and waits, and then D motor um, resets itself to zero. At this point here, we have some uh, text popping up, and this is our color or our numeric array in the corner. So that's the very first loop. And if we uh, zoom out again, and I go this way a little bit, we can get into this next loop, which is the scan. That scan, that scan loop, it's this one right here, okay? Um, that scan loop has two separate loops in here. Um, this one here is the comparison of colors. And then you can see this push button right here. This is where it allows you to actually push the button um, to run it instead of putting eight of them in there. Because when you put eight of them in there, what's happening is inside this loop, uh, that number is being put up and then it's being compared and it's being changed here to tell you what it is. Um, and then this one here, if you were to uh, push the button at this point, um, it would take that and it would make immediately take this value into the loop where it's actually sorting them. Okay, um, Here what it's doing is it's scanning them and it's looking at them one at a time. Um, and you can see that uh, compared to that loop there. Um, now when we move over again, we get to the point where you take the values of all these that you've either scanned in or you've pressed run, and that immediately takes you here where it makes a tone and it's ready to run, whether you push the button or it's counted to eight. Um, and it says EV3 on the screen. And once it says EV3 on the screen, then it goes into the actual sorting mode. I'm just going to zoom in to, for us to see that a little bit better. The actual sorting mode looks like this. Um, so here's your four different colors, is blue, green, yellow, and red, and that's a, a sound symbol that's uh, saying that it's actually saying that color, um, because that's all in memory now as to where it's been. Um, and then D motor will move to a certain distance, um, a certain duration of 10 at a power setting of 50 to drop a blue one, and it'll move to a duration of 132, same power setting for green. It'll move to a duration of 360 um, to drop a yellow, same power setting, and it'll move to a duration of 530 to drop a red uh, at a power setting of 50. As soon as it's done, um, the A motor, as soon as it gets to its location, whichever one of these four it's choosing, um, it turns the A motor on, and the A motor goes for a duration of 90 at a power setting of 100, which lets the little thing kick out, the little piece kick out, and then uh, you immediately go backwards. A motor resets itself immediately, and then it goes to the very next one, and then it repeats, because again, that's in a loop. So that goes back, and it goes back, and it does it again. Picks the right one, goes back, goes back. And then, of course, the whole thing just repeats itself, waiting for you to engage it one more time. 